As an operator, my responsibilities are to what we call run the plant. Uh, this is a computer automated plant. We have a control system in place and that involves turning on pumps. Uh, we have pumps for the treated water going out to the cities as well as pumps down at the lake to pump raw water up to the plant. Uh, monitoring the water quality, running wet chemistry or analytical uh, laboratory test in the lab to make sure that the water meets all the state and federal standards or exceeds them. We promote excellent quality here and that's one of the things that is nice about this plant and people really like about it is it's really strive for perfection here. And then as an operator we'll also make rounds around the plant to not only check for security but to make sure everything's functioning properly and look for any problems they might be able to head off. Here at, here at Beaver we're a little different. We work a 12 hour a day. We have what we call shift work. We have four groups of operators that work either midnight to noon or noon to midnight, work 12 hour shift days. Half the operators work Sunday through Wednesday, the other half work Wednesday through Saturday. So that's, uh, that's something a little unique here. We're sort of like a fire department or something. We work a really odd shift here. The, sh the shift operator, when he's on shift of a nighttime, it'll be him and a, and a shift partner. There are eight other operators that will either come in and be relieved or work the odd end of the week that they're on. And then they'll have contact with maintenance personnel, INE personnel, and other personnel throughout the plant. One of the great things about being a shift operator is you do get to work by yourself. You're unsupervised. It's a, it takes a, today's terminology, it takes a self-starter. Uh, it, it has a lot of responsibility. It takes a lot of discipline to be an operator. We'll start and stop pumps. We'll, we have an inside operator and an outside operator. The inside sets at a computer console and he's monitoring the tank levels in the cities. He's monitoring the tank levels in the plant and he'll start or stop pumps based upon needs of the, of the demand, how much water the public is using. And he also will monitor the chemicals to check for reorder, to check for proper feed rates of chemical addition to make sure the process is running evenly. The outside operator will run the lab test, make the plant inspections, and also backwash the filters. Uh, personally, I like to be an outside. This is a, a campus environment. One of the things I like is being able to be outside, uh, move around from building to building. Uh, we cover just over 80 acres on site here. So the most basic requirement is a high school diploma and then there's technical training in the water operations field that is very specific to this industry. So and we are, we are all licensed here. We're required to have a grade four treatment license. We're licensed through the Arkansas Department of Health and we also carry a grade four distribution license. We have to maintain what we call professional development hours or training hours and we're required to get 24 hours every two years for renewal. Prior to coming to Beaver I actually worked in construction and actually built and uh, built control systems and actually worked on construction sites where the physical plant was being built of water treatment plants and wastewater so that kind of prepared me to get into this field. But this is what we call turbid water. This is water out of Beaver Lake that's dirty. This is a measurement of about 70 NTU. That's nephrometric turbidity units. That's how we measure the clarity or the amount of dirt in the water. So this is, this is Beaver Lake water. This is what comes into the plant. This is what we call finished water. This is what comes out of your tap at home. This is about 0 0.02 NTU. So this is the, this is the amount of dirt that we have removed from your drinking water before it actually gets to your tap. So you can see it's a pretty significant change. We have a program called load shedding program. In the four hot summer months we actually reduce the plant's uh, flow, reduce the electrical load between 4 and 8 p.m. to get a better electrical rate. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll pump and we'll fill all the tanks up at night and then we'll let those tanks drift down about 10 percent in the day we will use that storage capacity and basically reduce the electrical load of the plant and then at 8 p.m. we'll start coming back up and start to refill those tanks so we do that to avoid a charge and it, it saved us about uh, almost five hundred thousand dollars last year but there are there are two individuals here at all times like I said we work 12 hour shifts this is a 24 7 operation uh, there's we never go unmanned but there's always somebody here ensuring your water is safe to drink and that's that's a very big deal to us that's what we pride ourselves upon but 
they're running not only mechanical tests every four hours, but we have online instruments that continuously monitor the quality of the water to make sure that it is not only clear, that it has the proper amount of disinfectant, it has no bacteria. So we're, we're continually making this product to make sure that it always goes out. If you think you might be interested in a career here, some of the things that if you're good at in, in your school classes might help you get on a career path are computer science, because we are very automated here, uh, mathematics, uh, we use a lot of, do a lot of calculations on figuring chemical dosions, doses, uh, calculating flow, uh, science, there's a lot of science related here, and chemistry, uh, if you have an understanding of chemistry that will certainly be a help to you.